how's it going YouTube? It's me Dark back with another Doki Doki video. Let's just get straight into it. Last time uh Yuri was getting a bit weird and so we left off at reading poems because the video was getting too long. So anyway, let's get on with it. <clears throat> Dark, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't you weren't supposed to see. I don't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, she seems pretty easily exci excitable when she's around you. This shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day that she has a collection of it or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she's get some kind of high from it. There might even be a, like a sexual thing. But the point is, you're kind of been enabling her. I won't say any of your faults there, but I guess that's why I have to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would be probably the best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in my head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I work really, really hard on this problem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here goes. Jeez, that really startled me. That startled me as well. I, I'm reading, I'm not saying anything. Um, for a minute, I actually thought the game actually bugged down my little PC, but you know, Monica's still here, so it's all good. Jeez, that really startled me. Um... But I guess I kind of messed that up right in this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Just, just look at this. Just, just, just can we like take a minute to just look at this? We just got Monica just standing there in front of this. My God. Oh my God. Never mind. Let's just move on. Is she gonna go all haywire again? This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So I'll just read mine too for right now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I really think this is about her theory. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strangely lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's normally not She's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. It even means to talk to, talk to a therapist. Where was I? I've always been. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I feel so helpless. Please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if, you, if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why. Uh, wait, as for Monica, I don't know why, but she's re been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm coming. Get up to reading. The thing is, yeah, Monica's probably reading this right now. She sings. She sees everything I see. Look at this. This this is Monica's doing. I changed my mind. You know everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Doc? If you would, just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. 
you have the Anaya 2 messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of, of Monica from now on. See, Monica's doing this. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Yay, just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. What have I done? <laughs> just Monica. Who should I show my poem to next? This game, man. This game. <coughs> Finally. <laughs> I'm giving her a different voice because she's like, I don't know what voice to give her though. Some yandere voice. <laughs> Yuri holds her, my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Dark, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're really nice to me, Dark. I never met anyone nice nicer to you. I could die. Not really, but I just want you to know how to describe it. It's okay to feel feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds the phone to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. Leave in touch. Whoa! Whoa! My paper I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil ends my. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm giving my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're going to really want to keep it. You take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. What? What? What's the actual... What? What? It actually says words on it though. But it's so hard to read. Ed... How... One... Tech... Blood... No, that's impossible to read. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. Please stop. In case you can tell me the poem is about. More importantly, I endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person at the club? Hey, I think I'm going to vomit. Are you bloody kidding me? I don't even know what it says. Mm. Guys, help me. I don't know what to do. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I bow, blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. Someone to hear her. <laughs> that was creepy as hell, man. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Dagonizing air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be print I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Yuri, you can what does it matter? Do whatever you want as long as you think you'll help. Monica? I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere of the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up the nice mood light room. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh, what about Dark? Dark is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is never enough to benefit an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would know. All you care about is dragging Dark around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey. I don't even do anything. Okay, so why not let Dark decide who will help of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Dark make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Dark, I know how fed up with these two by now. We can just... Natalie, shut your mouth and let me him decide for yourself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? They're crazy. Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. 
promise it'll be fun. Is Sandy okay with you? You get me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he it's what he chose. No, it's not f <laughs> What voice do I give up? It's too much like Monica's, uh I can't give her uh I, I actually don't know. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking dark for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Putting dark away from me every single time you're not including in something? Are you jealous? Look at her eyes, man. Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial for your mental health. Yuri, you're, s Yuri, you're scaring me a little. That's okay, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with him. Is that too much to ask? Yuri follows Monica. Not to the door. Hey, Dark. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Here it is. Yuri pushes her out the door. The sound's changed again. Oh, God. Finally. Finally. It's really all I wanted. Dark, there's no need to spend a weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day was just the two of us. Doesn't this sound wonderful? No. Wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt this good my whole life. It's been able to speak with you for this so far greater pleasure than anything I can imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing some same as with you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? And someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you is actually proper creeping me out. And that, it sounds like breathing, like, my character would be doing this probably. But it feels so good. Then why doesn't it feel like more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that way I'd try to stop... That's a laugh. That was creepy. That's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Dark. I have to tell you, I'm madly in love with you. I'm madly in love with you. I messed that one up. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood is in me. And is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Dark, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from. Oh. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't it sound perfect? Tell me, Dark. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Damn, no. <laughs> Kill yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I sound like a horrible person. I don't even care. Ooh, that is... That is actually a... Whoa. Look at that. Jeez. She went all out. Look at her eyes, they're so lifeless. Alright. That's another ending, I'm guessing. You're dead. How can you be speaking? You're dead. Just die already. I sound like a horrible person. Just, just like applauding her death. But like she was creeping me out. Um, if you're trying to decode something, I, I, I'm not gonna decode this. Bro, how do I get past this? It's just an infinite. See, I should have saved it then and see what happens if I actually...
Okay, is there actually anything I can do here? from the thing. No, she's still there. Oh, there we go. I'm guessing I can't escape this. Is there any way to escape this? I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna keep doing it until it works. Guys, I actually have to search up how to do how to get through this. So one sec. Guys, I think I got it. Boom. That wasn't so hard. Just a lot of skipping. Uh, her life just keeps going out. Am I just sitting here watching, uh, looking at a dead body? Guys, this is taking ages. Sunrise, night, no, our sunset night. Is there like no morning anymore? I thought she was smiling at the beginning. Yeah, there it is. It's, it's the morning. Of course. It's the weekend, wasn't it? Alright, it's festival time. Oh, you got here before me. So, ah! Oh god, that's disgusting. Not Scoo runs away. I'm here. Dad, did something happen? Nutsky just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Dark? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. It was. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Oh, thank you. Wait, what? Almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. So, foil from the tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had w have one since it's the last time I'll ever have to try one. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? Just trying to take one second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. Okay, that kind of looks kind of creepy. But I'm gonna live with it. Hang in, Dark. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same year last year. And, um, <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over this stuff at this point. Actually, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Doc. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about you, really, or you. I don't even know if you're aware or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware of that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? Oh, I knew that. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. 
Doesn't make much sense. I haven't told you on the game download page, you know? Man. If only I had paid a little more attention. It should have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that the that's out of the way, I guess I need an explanation. Well, that whole thing was Yuri? Well, I kind of saw him mess with her and I guess it drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that through, see through that. Also, the same thing happened to Saira. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make it as unlikely as possible. For some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true, I made a few mistakes here and there. Since... It's not very good to make ch since I'm not very good at making changes of the game. But no matter what I did, you just keep spending more time more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I saw making Sarah more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And I'm trying you as obsessive personality backward too. I just made her force you not to to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cool game is this, Dark? Oh yeah, the girl was just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watched from the sidelines. It's torture. Every minute of it. Can she have a less creepy face on? Bloody hell. And it's not just jealousy, Dark. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. No matter how, how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. None of my friends don't even have a free will. And worst of all, knowing what really what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Dark. But I'm just moving the laptop away from me. I feel like she's gonna come out as like, Hey But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry it's hard for you to understand. I can understand for a while either. Just I mean I was can we get to something good? I think this is the end because more and more grey, more and more flat, even more and more expensive poems feel empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understand. You probably saved my life, Dark. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. As for the others, how could I miss them? What's that, guys? Some you know? I was using this or the Yuri pick because this could be the end. We'll see. How could I miss them? A group of auto autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must have been some kind of weird inventory etched into the game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I, didn't, I realized that you have the same perspective that I do. That is just all some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that's being said, Dark. I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. Oh, really? Really, Monica? You are truly the light of my world. But you killed Cyrus. But I forgive you because I am madly in love with you. <laughs> when there's some, nothing else in this game for me, you make it me smile. Make me smile like this every day from now on? Sure, why not? Dark, will you go out with me? Yeah. I mean, even if there was a no, I'd say yeah. yeah. You really are everything, Dark. The funny part is, I meant that literally. Uh -huh. There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. Oh, I can see that. I mean, look outside. It's, there's nothing. We can be here together forever. I should just move my mouse. Seriously, I don't think that think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. You know, I'm pretty sure time is passing. I worked so hard for this ending, Dark. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make myself one. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, the folder's called Characters right in the game dictionary. It's kind of freaked me out how easily it was. Yeah, no, right, it's just characters and it's all the characters. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult to get the game directly. I had to go into the game properties and find a browse. She's telling me how to pretty much locate these, uh, so maybe I can. Imagine you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess, on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got the good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. 
I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? One line of poem. It's all about Monica. I love a sticker. Oh my god, a sticker's so cute. Uh, Monica. Monica. <laughs> Let's just keep writing Monica. Uh, Monica. Monica. Nika. Monic. Onika. Mon. Monic. Onika. Oni. Mona. Monica. I think they're all going to be Monica anyway, so let's just. There we go. <sighs> Hi again, Dark. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. How about you just please change. Is it you, why do you look so creepy? Can't you put your, like, happy face on? Your cute face on? Oh, Dark. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, Paul Myers is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy in your pen in hand, I, fall, I find my strength. The courage enveloped upon me by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of my own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way in a world of infinite choices. Behold my special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. That was pretty good. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into my poems I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realisation. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I don't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game, like everything else. Yeah, but so you didn't break the force wall at all. Save the game. Delete her. <sighs> but that would help the two of us end up together. I don't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? I've got him mad at me. Maybe even deleting my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our time together, Doc? Yeah, why not? I have so many things to talk about. Why do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Oh, God! How does she know? How does she know? Um, hi everyone. Sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? <laughs> I'm sure some people don't mind. But get really self-conscious on camera. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh gosh. I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. She's going to do something really cool. Are you ready? She's starting to move. What's happening? Guys. Guys. Guys, I'm scared. I took my headphones off. Like. I'm just kidding. Oh my god. I, like, I thought it was going to be like a scream and her face is going to change like, you know, like Yuri did. I, I was just so scared. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me... Damn you. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> you <so cute>. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Damn you. Anyway, Dark, I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your own fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fine as long as it's with you. But anyway, it takes me some time to collect my thoughts and I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we just look at each other's eyes. Alright, let's see. You're gonna do it again. I'm not looking. You're gonna do it again. You're gonna do it again. I know you're gonna do it again. Monica, can can we just do something? Monica, I can't do anything. Monica. 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 You collected your thoughts yet? How about you sing a song for me? Uh, you playing play on piano? Eh, you did something really funny once. <laughs> you did something really funny once. We were in all in the classroom just relaxing as usual. Now I know a Yuri just pulls out a small bottle of wine. I'm not even kidding. She was just like, would anyone like some wine? Natsuki laughed out loud and Cyrus started yelling at her. I actually felt kind of bad because she was at least trying to do something nice. I think it made her feel even more reser reserved in the classroom. So I think, so I think Natsuki is secretly a bit curious to try it. And to be completely honest, I was kind of too. So actually, it could have been fun. But you know, being president and everything, there was no way I could let that happen. 
Maybe we may have outsiders here. We were never bonded even to get to that point. Gosh, why am I talking this about this for? I don't condone underage drinking. I mean, I've never drank or anything, so yeah. Here's they are. See all the characters. So I'm gonna delete her and then go back into the game, okay? I'm gonna keep the game on as well, just so. Let's see what happens in the game. Yeah, there we go. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Alright. Oh, 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 what's happening? Tark, what's happening to me? It hurts. Sorry. It hurts so much. Help, help me, Dark. Sorry, man. Hey, it's the space. Please hurry up and help me. Let me try again. Help me! I'm sorry. You again boring. Did you just do this to me, Dark? Did you? Did you delete me? Yeah, I did. You guessed it. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were getting kind of boring. B boring. <laughs> you, were, you were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Dark. I trusted you. Do you not? Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Well, you're gone. So you shouldn't be even suffering anymore. Will you only pretend to be kind of just hurting me even more? No. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can just stop playing. <laughs> You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Now I'm still here. I'll always be here, Dark. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Oh, won't she sing to me? <laughs> what now? What now? I'm still here. <laughs> I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I? For you to hate me this much. All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many shellfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. Just messing up the world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted me to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Do I have to keep pressing or will it automatically just come back? I mean, she runs this game. I've made up my mind. Dark. I know I said that I deleted everyone, everyone else, but this is kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew that wasn't real. They were still my friends. I love them all. I love the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for me, everyone, to be happy. I'm really in love with you. Then... There we go. Yeah, the game starts. Rewinds everything. Rewind time. There we go. What? What now? Monica? I mean, what what happens? It's just an ordinary day in school like any other. I do shine with a couple of friends. Girl, something like that. Hey, Dark. Well, there's already as one girl. 
The girl sorry, my neighbor, a good friend. We should walk to school every day. I recently we picked up. Dark, are you proud of me? Uh, I got uh, Cyrus back. I know. Eh? What for what? You know, for waking up on time. We've been doing that for a while now. Uh huh. But you never said anything about it. Maybe you mean Cyrus? Okay. Uh, I know it's a different dialogue, but. By the way, Dark, have you decided to club join? A club? I told you already, I'm not really into it. But sometimes I'm just. After all, I'm gonna waste the time and she should be Actually, 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 I think I decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I'm going to literally club everywhere. I'm worry. The school is on the iPad. Let's see. Surgery class before long, I'll find a room. Hello. <coughs> Dark? What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glanced around the room. Huh? So you, yours are dark, the Cyrus always talks about. S thank you, thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dark. We're at the Literature Club. I hope you enjoyed the visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh huh. Sorry, Natsuki. Tall one whose name is Yuri, quite shy. I'm pronounced incorrectly. I also got Natsuki. In the line. Well, it's nice to meet you, both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Dark, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I decided to join is your Syra. The Literature Club. So, no way. No way! <laughs> Syra wraps her arms around me and jumping up and down. Hey, <laughs> Well, if Syra is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad having you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can officially come to the club. I don't know what to say. We can celebrate! <laughs> what an appropriate day for that is, isn't it? Yeah. After all... After, <coughs> after all, let's get started too. Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How long have you been now? Um, so is this... What, what's happening now? Um... Because, like, this is all... This all has already happened. Guys, what's happening? No, like... There's no problems now. There has to be something that happens. What the hell? What's happening? There's no skip button. I can't skip nothing. Guess the name of the ship for getting in the world. Well, that'll make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing anything if I'm here. That's for you, Yuri? Eh? Absolute manga. Jeez. You guys are the one who suggested we don't like it. She was not open minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. It's a good little special so. I mean, she's saying that now. I just realized the error. Start a novel. Graduate. Really? I mean, if it make you happy. Same here. Just for you. Uh huh. Guys, I don't know what's happening. This is, this is just going on. So cute. This is low-key like creeping me out. It's nice to see everyone going around, isn't it? I think everyone likes it too, Dark. I think so, well, I've always... It's your own Dark. Oh, Dark. Don't think I'm that. Embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. I'm gonna make the best club ever. Now that you join, everything's gonna be so much more fun. Hey, Dark. I realize I wanna thank you. The music stopped this way, it's gonna get rid of I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. She says, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she said. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Dark. <laughs> I know how hard you're trying to make everyone happy. I know about how all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But I'm not really mad anymore. It's just me, though. And you made me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend entirely like this. With you. Forever. And ever. Forever. E. 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 R. No. Eh? What was happening? I won't let you hurt him. No. Oh, it hurts. Huh? I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sarah. Goodbye, Doc. 
Goodbye, it should go. Ah, thank you, Monica. You fixed the game. Again. <clears throat> Gone, Monica. Oh, what? What? Oh, a bit. Oh, yeah, I can hear you, Monica. Hi. Oh, it's been a good series, guys. What? Oh, here we go. I love the song. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching the series. And if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. And I guess I'll end the video now.